Hi, my name is Chris Rasmussen. I'm 19 years old from Seattle, Washington. Yeah, I remember being uh, a kid with my with my sister and my mom, and we were driving, and um, and we had the music playing uh, real loud, and I and I think we we stopped at a stoplight or something, and and my mom turns around and she says, "Chris, you always try to sing the instruments," um, and so I think even from an early age. Uh, Music was something that was, that was special to me, um, and I enjoyed it. Um, and then as I grew up, I kind of started to, to write and record uh, my own songs and um, picked up some instruments and stuff. Um, yeah, music is, is a pretty special thing uh, in my life. and. Um, I think it does something good for my soul um, when I play music. It everything seems a little bit better, um, and I think that there's there's things that I can't say in speech that will um, that will express how I feel. I think that music is a pretty good outlet to uh, to say those things that you can't say in um, in speech or in writing or um, any any other um, communication. Um, and so and so I think that's why. I think that's why it's special is because it it taps into something that um, is a little bit more personal. I think I, I think though that I I don't think I could stop writing or playing music even if I wanted to you know so um, so I don't think I'll ever be able to to stop playing. Um, so I don't know what it's going to look like in the future, but I think music will probably be a part of it. Today I'm going to play a song called uh, North, and it's a it's a pretty special song to me. Um, it's hard to just pinpoint maybe one thing that it's about um, because that's that's not really how I I write music. I guess I'm more of like a more of a collector by nature. So I'm, I take I take events, I take uh, feelings, I take uh, maybe quotes or something from uh, all these various places, and um, and just kind of like kind of show how they're all connected. Um, and I and that's just how I how I do it, I think that makes more sense to me and is a little bit more um, meaningful to me. So, so I mean, there's plenty of elements of, of um, love in the song, of lost love, of maybe doubt, of, um, and just like events throughout my life. So I think that's why it's a, it's a meaningful song to me because I can kind of, I can kind of play it in, in maybe whatever mood I'm in and um, it'll have some, some value to how I'm feeling.
souls on the pavement Signing my name down below and I've been writing songs on the concrete I think by the time I was a junior in high school, I decided that there's nothing else I'd rather study in college. Um, so I'm a music education major right now, um, and I hope to use music in a variety of ways for the rest of my life. I'd love to perform um, in vocal ensembles. Um, and I'd love to perform my own music. Um, I'd love to be involved in worship and teach other people music um, in like high school, maybe high school level, aged kids. Um, but yeah. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. You've got to. I'm just kidding. I didn't know what song I got. I was hoping that everybody would sing. I was hoping that everybody would sing a different song. Oh, perfect. Music in relation to songwriting in particular. Um, I think for me has functioned as a sort of synthesis of the ideas that I've been having um, and the things that I've been processing through intellectually, emotionally, um, even relationally. Um, and it's just a, a creative means to kind of synthesize all those things that I've been going through. Um, and it, it serves as a, something that I can look back to as well and uh, remember kind of everything that I was going through at that time. Um, and it also something that I can share with other people and hope that they either enjoy or relate to as well. Um, so, yes. Doing! I'm not breathing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe I am reading. I think you're just twisting. No, you're just twisting it. Oh, there you go. This is gross. <laughs> you get my hair out of your nose. <laughs> Guys, my hair is just Make me. Oh, yeah, make me. The name of the song that I'm going to be sharing is called Prone to Perish. Um, and the things that I've been thinking about this semester have a lot to do with um, understanding my own um, sin and also just my own um, shallowness and um, like translucence, I guess. Um, and so it's, it's kind of this desperate plea um, and longing for wholeness and completeness um, and just, yeah, the juxtaposition, juxtaposition of recognizing those two things 
um, in one thing, that, that I am this, this kind of ghostly-like figure, um, but I'm striving to become more solid um, and more whole. Prone to perish, we can't live another day, all to cherish, unredeemable time, so take this fragmented, fragmented, fragmented soul and make us soul. Well, I knew a child both winsome and wild. He came from my Preaching that pretense murders a mild, furious as the wind. free to stand up if you need to, you know, if you're feeling it. So I'm rolling, so whenever you're ready. <laughs> this is non-stop, baby, you got me going crazy, you're heavier than I know. My name is Lit Odom, and I am 21. No other, you're my cameo lover, only here for a moment or two. And today, as I 
I think my music, my my music mystery, um, my music history, I think goes back to when I was really young. Um, I I have been involved with music since I was little in church choir, um, like piano lessons, like every other little kid. Um, and it wasn't until uh, really high school that I got serious about performing and singing. Um, and so I, I started doing that. And then in college uh, was when I really developed um, my songwriting. And um, but throughout high school, I think I always knew that that was what I wanted to do as a career um, was perform. And yeah, I just sort of evolved into what it is today, and it's just kind of still we're still figuring out what it looks like and where it's gonna go. Um, music for me is definitely a form of expression and communication. It's definitely a way that I can um, process emotions that I'm feeling or experiences. Um, it's also just a way that I emotionally connect to life. I think it's it provides such a an outlet um, to be honest with yourself and to communicate honestly to other people, um, to allow yourself to be vulnerable, um, and it's it's it, it has a lot of healing. Um, I think it provides that, and it also just is it's so much fun. Like it's it just provides a lot of happiness to life. I think. The song that I will be performing is a song called Loving You on the Edge and it's about, um, it's kind of a fictional story of sort of a guy in a relationship where the girl isn't exactly the best to him and uh, how he'll always love her no matter how terrible she is to him um, and how he's just kind of always dedicated to her no matter the circumstances that she puts him in. I don't 
became really close um, two years ago when we became Singspiration and Africa coordinators. Yeah. Travel programs. And our name is Ryan and Ryan because my middle name is Ryan. And my middle name is Ryan. Mine is R Y A N. And R I O B. Which thought that was interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, the first song that we're going to do is called Winter by Noah Gunderson, and that song is my favorite Noah Gunderson song. Um, it speaks, it's just a really deep song, it speaks so um, intimately about, um, about a relationship and about losing someone, and it means a lot to me. And the second song we're doing is Moss on a Rolling Stone, also by Noah Gunderson. And that song has a lot of implications about wrestling with God, wrestling with Satan, and kind of what that's like, and bitterness that grows in the heart, and how we rather have growth that's good. And so it's just talking about that struggle, and, and it's fun. It's fun to play, fun to jam to. Yeah.
Do that again. Do you really need it? <laughs> no, but it'd be funny. Okay. Hi, my name is Chris Yim, and I am 22 years old. I have been playing music since I was uh, six. Started with piano, then started on guitar around 13 years old. First song I learned was Wonderwall by Oasis. Good song to learn, any beginner. Uh, guitar people and uh, after that you know I just started making some music uh, I, I, just, I found a love for songwriting and so that's what I'm doing right now where's that from it's from Antonio Bandera <laughs> one of his movies with his guitar and this stuff comes out oh. and so my song is called father mother I wrote it about two years ago and it's about my mom and dad and uh, just letting them know that I love them because sometimes uh, we don't give that gratitude to our parents so it's just a, a song of affirmation so um, that's what it's about just affirming my parents that I love them it's so sweet
I'm rolling, so whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. 